Hey guys, so today I want to do another video from my nostalgia series, which is of course looking back at shows that are basically 90s and down. And today's choice of show is Come Outside. Now, first of all, I'm pretty sure that most people will have seen this show. Not necessarily everybody will know it by the title. For some really weird reason, I never knew the title of the show until like a couple of years ago. I, I don't know why, because it comes up at the beginning, you know, it'll say Come Outside. But I just never paid attention to that as a child. It was always, to me, called Auntie Mabel and Pippin, who are our two main characters, and it's all about their adventures. So Auntie Mabel basically is your sort of, well, you know, she's your typical auntie figure, you know, very warm and loving. And she is there to teach us about things. She lives alone, but with Pippin. And at the beginning of every episode, there is a problem of some sort. For example, Pippin knocks over all the food and she has to buy more. Or a pipe's broken, so we learn about water in that episode. Um, they're the only two that seem to come to mind. Or there could be like an apple tree growing in her garden, so we learn about apples that day. And there's just loads of little things that sparks off a, a whole topic of things. Everyday things that we can all generally relate to, for example, sewage. There's one about sewage, which is kind of weird. Um, but we can all relate to that, we can all relate to the water one and things. So there's loads of really nice stories and just everyday things that we can all relate to which I think is really vital in a kids show. And then once the problem has arose and we realise that we have to do something, we go out in an aeroplane. Auntie Mabel has this sort of, um, this iconic quote where she turns to Pippin and goes, Pippin, it's time to fly! And then um, you'll have the theme music and Pippin will go bounding along and Pippin is a dog by the way. Um, I don't think I mentioned that. And Pippin will bound along and get her collar on and her leash. And then we'll go in the big aeroplane, which is the white aeroplane covered in polka dots. Um, just brightly coloured spots all over it. It looks fantastic and it's so fun and colourful. And then we'll put the roof down and off we'll go to a different place. Usually we'll land somewhere that is nowhere near where an airport would be. <laughs> um, but... It always takes us somewhere where we're going to learn about. For example, I think the one that's really in my mind quite a lot is we go to learn about juice boxes. Um, I think Auntie Mabel was looking for a juice, a drink to put in a packed lunch because she and Pippin were going on a picnic. And somehow we ended up learning about juice boxes and we got taken to a factory to see how they made the juice and then how it got put into the box and then how they put the straw on the side. And then at the end we had a finished Thomas the Tank juice box which was quite nice. Um, there's also one where we learn about crisps as well, which I think, according to Wikipedia, we go to the Golden Wonder Factory. To be honest with you, that information isn't that important, but we learn about how potato, how chips, crisps come from potatoes and how they get baked and then put into the packets and sold in shops and things. So it is really, really educational and you learn about things that technically you don't always need to know. Like you don't really need to know how a juice box is made, but it's quite interesting to know. I'll be honest with you, I can't actually remember how a juice box is made exactly. Um, obviously it's kind of common sense that it goes from this part to this part to this, to this part to give you the finished product. But I mean I have no idea where the, the cardboard for the, the box comes from or anything. So clearly the information itself <laughs> didn't leave that much of an impression on me. But it is educational and you do learn a lot. Um, I think the, the, there's one where they go picking strawberries and things, that one's quite nice. Um, and each episode is 15 minutes which is a really nice amount of time because you can you can pay attention to the information and you can absorb what you're being told without forgetting whatever you learned at the very very beginning. And then at the very end of each episode Pippin does something naughty like she will steal some food or, she, or she'll knock a bucket of water or something over and Auntie Mabel will turn around and go oh Pippin and she does that at the, at the end of every one and it is um, it's just you know it's the perfect way to end the episode and it's so so lovely. Auntie Mabel is played by Linda Barron. Um, she's been in quite a lot, but more recently she was in EastEnders and she played... Now her name has totally gone out of my head, but she, play, she plays James, she's Jane's mum, whose name I totally cannot remember. Um, but anyway, Linda Barron is a fantastic actress and I actually wrote to her a few years ago when I was a really big autograph collector. Um, I expected an EastEnders cast card but she actually sent me a Come Outside cast card which had a picture of she and Pippin on the front and she signed the back so that was really lovely. 
Um, the theme tune to this as well is absolutely adorable. Um, it's got pictures of Pippin, well, um, shots of Pippin looking up and looking down and looking all around because the lyrics are, you know, look up, look down, look all around, do 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 and so on and it is so so lovely. If you do a YouTube search for the theme tune um, or even just the show, there are loads of loads of them, loads of people have uploaded it and it's so lovely and just a, a really nice feeling to sort of see the theme tune again and know you're going into a really fantastic episode. I think most of the episodes are probably online. There is I wrote down 39 episodes according to Wikipedia. 39 episodes, um, and if you go to Wiki itself, there are there's a full list of them. Some of them are kind of weird. I don't remember all of them, but most of them I remember seeing. So that's really nice. It actually um, stopped being recorded in 1997. It ran for three seasons from 93 to 97, if I remember rightly. So that was. I started watching it in school, so that was what? I was four. So that was 1996, so I basically started watching it when it was coming to an end. But it's always on TV now, it's always on CBeebies, it's always being repeated, and it has its own section on the CBeebies website, um, bbc.co.uk forward slash CBeebies forward slash come outside. And if you go onto there, there's like little games you can play with Pippin, and there's also like a colouring page section where you can colour in Pippin, you can colour in the, pay, the um, plane, and I'm, I think there's a couple as well, a couple of others, um, which is great fun for kids. I know my sister and my brother um, like printing off pictures from the CBeebies websites um, and colouring them in, so they're quite nice. Now, a lot of people um, have been sort of asking about Pippin and if he's like still alive. Um, on Facebook, there is a group um, called R.I.P. Pippin from Come Outside. And from what I can tell, the first Pippin, who was actually a female, um, has passed away. Um, according to Wikipedia, she passed away in 2008, which is quite an upsetting thought because Pippin is an important part of a lot of people's childhoods. Um, such a lovely dog. Um, so sort of kind of felt like the viewer's dog as well. We felt like it was our dog. We felt like Pippin was our friend. So to think that Pippin is no longer with us is quite sad. But apparently there was another Pippin. Apparently there was more than one Pippin. Um, and I think that Pippin is still alive, so we can be jolly about that. And the second Pippin is actually the Pippin from the Baker's dog food adverts, which I think is quite cute because I've never really made that connection between the two. But now I've read it and now now, now I can see Pippin and the Baker's dog as one. I can see that now, so that's quite cute as well. So it's just a really great, fun um, kids TV show. It was loved when I was younger and kids still love it. Pippin is so lovely. We can all confine in Auntie Mabel. We all love her and... She is like an auntie to us, um, so that is absolutely fantastic and I'm pleased it's still on TV. Um, I don't think it's as popular as some kids TV shows now. Kids tend to prefer, pre prefer? prefer things that are more like silly, like In the Night Garden or that really weird thing with those big blobby things, um, I don't know what they're called, I never paid attention, well, that make stupid noises and things, rather than stories that are blatantly educational. You can tell that this is teaching you things. Whereas with Rory the racing car, kids can't see the moral in it straight away, or generally they can't see the moral. Whereas in this, Auntie Mabel is telling you facts, so you have to be alert. But it is a really, really cosy show, and I love it. I did try and see if there was any DVDs, because I'd just quite like to own it on DVD. Um, I went onto Amazon and I typed it in, and the only results I got were like CBeebies box sets that had different shows on. So I cannot find one DVD with all 39 episodes on. But I hope that eventually somebody does create that. And like they did with the Bag Plus ones and things. That just reminded me I was going to be buying the Bag Plus, Bag Plus DVDs. But yeah. So um, catch it on CBeebies. It'll be on iPlayer I think. Because all the CBeebies shows are on iPlayer. But all the episodes as well are on YouTube from what I can tell. So it's just really lovely. You know, go and watch it. And remember your childhood. Rem remember Pippin and the plane and things. And Auntie Mabel. And if you haven't seen it before, go and check it out for the first time. You will love it, even if you're not the target audience, which is preschool. Um, that's all I want to say about this. Feel free to leave requests and things. Um, my next Nostalgia Series one will prob probably be next week, I think, maybe Thursday. I have a lot of 90s shows to get through. Um, I think I've got a list of about 200. But if there are any particular 90s, 80s, 70s shows you want me to talk about, 
um, just let me know and if you request them I will get around to them quicker than what I would do otherwise. Um, but yes, that's all I want to say. Come outside, fantastic show, perfect, so, so beautiful. Um, definitely worth watching even if you're not a kid. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I will see you next time. Bye guys!